Hey everyone, this video is on an integration uh, using Zapier and using um, Facebook ads, lead ads for a lead generation campaign, and then just going to be uh, pushing that into an email. I'm just going to push it into my G Suite, uh, my Gmail. Uh, so this is going to be a very simple video. So when you're in your lead generation campaigns, you're going to see um, an area where you're creating the forms. So it look something like this. So I typically keep this as short as possible. I don't, the more questions you ask, the less likely the person is going to fill it out. So first name, I put full name, phone number, and email. Since Facebook already knows this information from their users, Facebook just pre-populates their full name, the phone number, and the email. Okay, this stuff is easy to set up. Um, by the way, if you need help with any Facebook marketing campaigns, um, I have a video course specifically on lead generation and all this stuff. Um, or if you need me to set it up, we could do that as well. Um, check out my pricing page. I'll put the links in the description. Okay, so we to use this service, uh, you're going to need to be on the 20 bucks plan um, and because Zapier uh, or Zapier makes it, uh, it considers Facebook ads uh the lead generation campaign, a premium app. So, okay, so when you're logged in, you're gonna see this. Uh, so you want to go from Facebook, uh, whoops, let me come up here, apps. Okay, so you're gonna search by app. And so Facebook, and you'll see something start popping up. Facebook lead ads. And this is the integration that they have. Okay, so you're gonna push from Facebook lead to a Gmail. Or, or to email. Uh, don't go the other way around because you don't want to push the information from your Gmail into Facebook. You can't do that anyway, but for many of the applications, you want to go from one to the other one. So from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use one that is right here, e get emails with new Facebook leads. So they give you uh, options down here. Um, a lot of the times I find what I'm looking for right here. Uh, but for these purposes, for this purposes, then we're going to look for um, something for email. So you can see all these apps coming up for email. Um, but Zapier has their own app. So email by Zapier. So anytime a lead comes in from a Facebook lead generation campaign, I want it to send, I want Zapier to send that email. Uh, to me. Okay, so a new lead. Uh, we're going to continue. Now you have to connect your account. Mine's been connected a million times because I've tested uh, tested it out so many times. <laughs> so now you're going to pick the company that you're working with. I got a bunch of companies here, so um, I've done this so many damn times. It's, I could almost do it with my eyes closed. Okay, so just pick your company. Um, this one is for a Medicare company. Yeah, here it goes. All right, and so that's a page, one of the pages that you're looking at. And now here are the forms. So this one was, uh, remember, Medicare English form version one and Spanish version one. Let me go back so you can see this. So this is uh, this is a copy because I was going to duplicate it really quick. So here we go. English form, Medicare English form version one, uh, Spanish form version one. So I have two forms in here, one for English and one for Spanish. All right, so uh, I, I'm going to set up the English one first. Okay, I'm going to continue. And now what we want to do is come up with some type of lead. Uh, so when you don't have a lead, this stuff starts popping up. I already know what fields are going to be in there. Um, I usually can like, well, if there's no, if there's never been a lead, you can't pull any information. Let me show you another uh, thing here. I'm going to go to one of my other campaigns. Uh, let me just... Let me just log in here, make a zap, and I'll log in. I'm going to keep this one open. I don't want to lose my work. So in here, we can see that I have other uh, zaps. Um, well, let's just use this guy right here. So this is the same thing. Um, new lead in Facebook ads, custom lead. So we uh, selected the page and the form. And then this is where the other one got stuck because there was never a lead that had come through. You'll see something like this. And you'll see the, the fields, email, 
Is this what I asked for? The full name. And then um, the phone number. Well, you get some phone numbers here, right? So once you finish this part, uh, you'll know those are the fields that you asked for in your uh, form in the Facebook lead ad. Uh, you're going to hit done editing and then you're going to go, what do you want uh, Zapier email to do to send an outbound email? So when this happens, when you get a lead, Zapier will do this, send outbound email. Okay, so we've already selected this. Um, it, would, it should be pre-populated. Uh, send outbound email. If it's not selected, there's only one thing to select anyway. And then we're going to customize the email. So two, and then this is my email address and then the client's email address. I usually put my email address because um, I want to make sure that the client is getting the emails as well. Sometimes they're not paying attention. So now th this is the important part. Um, when you when you want the email sent to the person, you want to get it to them in a certain format. So remember that these fields, uh, when you come to this area and you hit that plus button, this is what's going to come in the message body of your email. So that's why I put this here. This is a lead from Facebook. The prospect is expecting a call back for a quote, right? I'm just telling the client to do something, you know, I guess, yeah, take action. Okay, so once I hit this full name, bam, you see that happen there. So I want it to come nice and pretty, right? For, um, name. Okay, and then we the next one is going, I only asked for three things here. Uh, the phone number. And then the next line, the email. So that's actually a lead. Any salesperson will tell you that's a lead. Name, phone, and email. So if I were to set it up just like this, I would get an email with two, two fields, this one, this one. Uh, I'm going to delete this for now. Okay, so uh, all this other stuff you can basically skip. From name to name, CC, force brain breaks, continue, blah, blah. And now, unless you need it. Okay, so this is what the email is going to look like um, in the message body. Oh, I forgot this part. Let me go back. So right here in the subject, you could you want something to come out in the email blasting you so you know you got a lead. Okay, so when the email comes, it should be, well, it should be sent to the email addresses. The subject that we had put, this is a lead, and then full name, telephone, and email. This is... Um, um, dummy data. If it had a real lead in there, it would pre-populate. Um, but for security purposes, we don't show that. Okay, cool. So now we are uh, an, a task outbound email was sent. <sighs> okay, so let's go check out our where. Okay, let's see here. So this is the email came through, and this is exactly what we put into the form on Zapier. Facebook lead, uh, call them now, the name, telephone, and email. Oh, I sent it twice, so anyway. Um, that's it. Oh, and at the very end, don't forget to turn on your zap. <laughs> you don't, sometimes I forget. And name it. Once you start getting a bunch of uh, email, um, zaps, zaps going on, you're going to forget what the hell they're for. So start naming it what it actually is. So, for instance, this one's my drip campaign. All the leads from the newsletter, from when people sign up for my newsletter, they go into my pipe drive or into Salesforce. And then um, the marketing team they work on or the sales team works on lead nurturing. You could use uh, Zapier for everything, uh, for many things to automate. Okay. Anyway, if you have any comments, leave it down there in the, in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If this has helped, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Talk to you soon.